finally got merch, you guys. March 10th is when the store opens. We've got a few things to get started with. We've got gray shirts with black logo. We've got black shirts with orange logo. We've got keychains. We've got a trucker hat. We've got a flex fit hat. And we've got stickers. So on March 10th, go to atlamerch.com and you can get all your stuff there. Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. I'm here with my friend Tommy. Now, by the way, I know you guys have seen us. We've shot Superformance Cobras. We've shot Backdraft. We have never shot a real, authentic, built by Shelby and Company, 1967, 427 Cobra. I'm freaking out that we've got a real Cobra in my shop right now. I'm freaking out that I still have it. <laughs> How long have you owned it? Uh, I've owned this for over 20 years now. Wow. So, you know, in terms of uh, the values of these things, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to touch it now, but I was very fortunate to get it when I did. Maybe, you know, close to 25 years now. Because these are like north of a million dollars nowadays, aren't they? Uh, or up yeah. In that, yeah. yeah. So the first thing that caught my eye, I didn't know that on the 427, I thought they all had side exits. So that's how it came, was with a rear exhaust. Yeah. Well, when they built the 427s, they came off the assembly line like this. This was the street car. Then you could order a race car or a street hopped up car. So you could have the hood scoop ordered, you could have the mortar more built out. They also added a roll bar. It had the big, big Halibrand wheels on it that yep. would fill up these wheel wells right. and the actual side pipes. Got it. So this is like, a, in its day, the base model version, so to speak? This is the base model. <laughs> <laughs> It'll scare the crap out of you. I'm sure. The base model was enough. So let, let's start, let's pop the hood. I wanna, okay. I, I wanna go under here right away. I mean, that's the real thing, you know? This car has never been restored. I think it was painted once, probably 45 years ago. So really? a testament to old lacquer paint. Yeah, no doubt about it. Like I said, I've had it for over 20 years and I think I've given it a few tune-ups. Yeah. That's about it. You know? Yeah. So I've seen them, like the Superformance cars, I've seen them where they have the stacks, right? This is just dual carburetor. Just a dual four quad. Yep. How many miles are on this car? I think I bought it with uh, just 8,000 miles on it or something. And I'm proud to say I've got 14,000 miles on it. So, uh, you know. Only 14,000 It's got 14,000 original on miles on oh it. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Dude. And I drive, I, I drive it, you know. I don't, I don't do um, those big, long, you know, 500 mile rallies or anything like that. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, I love, on Friday night, I take it to Bob's Big Boy, you know, in Toluca Lake. And, um, yeah. you know, we'll go over to the Peterson <laughs> Museum for a Cars and Coffee. Uh, you know, I'll go take it around, go up to Mulholland. You know, that's my roots is, you know, Hollywood. So, sure. you know, we always sure. went to the hills. So I kind of do the same drives I did when I was 16 years old, when I got my first car, which was a 69 Camaro. Okay, that, hey, that's a good I, starter. I pretty car, much man. do my same roots. I'm just mesmerized looking at this and seeing the the differences, you know, because I have seen the the replicas, a, mm -hmm. a lot of them, mm -hmm. you know, and they're and they're very well done. Yeah. I mean, they really are. But uh, the, Superformance does a good job. I mean, the other thing that really stands out is, like you said, the the wheel wells aren't filled up with yeah. wheel and tire. Yeah, and you could do that with the Halibrand. Yeah, you know, these are the original sunburst wheels, and it's signed by Carol. Who else signed it? Uh, well, you know, so he sat in the car with me. You know, he signed the name, and I said, "Can you say to Tommy?" And he says, "Nobody ever asked me to do that because of the, I guess, the value. If you go sell it, it's it's got your name on it." Right. And I <laughs> said, and I said, "I'm not selling this thing." Ever. Right. Right. And so he put to Tommy <laughs> and he knew me a little bit from, you know, I'm in a, I'm a Trans Am racer. Right. Sure. So he, he followed all kinds of racing and I, you know, I, he made me blush when he says, you're a Trans Am driver. And I just went, wait, what? You, you, <laughs> you know, you're Carol Shelby. <laughs> right. Like you shouldn't know anything about and so, me. And so, and so I was, it was so cool because he said to Tommy, Carol Shelby, and he put keep racing. And I thought that was pretty dark. That's so cool, yeah, man. Yeah. What a, he was, he's such a lovely guy. Uh, and look what he did. He made history. I think it just keeps getting better and better. You know, uh, I take this to show sometimes and you know, the old boys and the old girls, you know, they, they, they know the car, they love it. They, they sure. grew up with it, you know, or they, they were teenagers and they 
looked at this car and said, oh my gosh, I got to have that car one day. Yeah. But, you know, some of the teens, you know, they come up to me and they go, I've never seen anything like this before. Yeah. You know, and, I, you know, with all the new cars out there, they're just space age, amazing stuff that's out there now. They still gravitate to this, you know? Absolutely, man. Absolutely. So this, you know, another one, this bumper, this is for the street version. Yes. Because it's, it's, you know, it's, it's very street. Yeah, it's kind of a bumper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. It is. I mean, and if you did this on like a replica car, you'd go, ah, that really sucks. But since it's the original car, you, yeah. you, you got to appreciate the beauty That's of the it. That's the bumper that, that came with the car. Right? Yeah. You drive this thing and it's a, it's, a, it's a heck of a driver, you know? I mean, it's so visceral. The feel that you get from driving one of these things, it's surprisingly comfortable to drive and you can really drive the thing i mean i've driven the most modern stuff you know on the racetrack now yeah but i get in this thing and i can see where where the car was neutral and you could just really anticipate it you know coming to you and you can really feel it in your butt you know it's, yeah it's, it's uh it's just a great car to drive by the way you guys it's you, you should go look up tommy because it's fun to hear you talk this way about it because i know what you do i mean tommy's a professional race car driver along with other things that he does the Lucas shirt, the Sunoco hat. This isn't just like, let's get decorative here. These are sponsors for Tommy and his racing career. You know, so to hear you talk that way about a car that's this old yeah. is, is uh, yeah. it's a testament to what the car is. Again, the, coming back to the replicas versus this, they're all fiberglass cars. This is, this is the real thing. This, this is all the aluminum, aluminum, all aluminum car. Just awesome, man. So. So since you drove it all the way over here, um, I'm assuming we can go for a ride. In, oh, right? we, can, can we do that? We're gonna go take this thing for a drive, you guys. <laughs> After this many years of ownership, still a total joy to drive this oh, car. Oh, fucking great. You just, you just dig in. You can't help but to like squat in it and be like a vulture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're kind of tall for these cars. Yeah. You can tell instantly you're a race car driver. Like, I mean, one of the first things that always catches me is when people downshift and they don't blip it to mat, rev match. Oh yeah. You, like, you're not gonna not do that. Okay, okay. I was wasn't he, was expecting he, that at all. Was he rolling? <laughs> yeah. Not expecting that, dude. <laughs> I love it. You own this car and you actually drive it like that. I just cruise this thing. Yeah. I hardly ever do that. Really? I'll do donut. I usually do take it for a drive who wants to do a donut. Yeah. <laughs> Every three times, it'll let me know. All right, you guys, that is it for our shoot of this radical, true, authentic 427 Cobra. This is a 1967 real deal Cobra. And if I sound over the top about it, it's because I am. We've shot replicas and tribute cars that are wonderful, wonderful cars, but this is the real deal. This is from Shelby. I mean, I'm just completely blown away by it. Not just because the value, and the value is absurd on this car, 
but the importance that this car and Carroll Shelby and the crew played in automotive history and in motorsports history, and that Tommy doesn't just drive the car, but he throws down in it, man. I was not expecting the donut. I'm just totally blown away right now. So I hope you guys had a good time in this episode because I sure did have a blast. And as always, thanks for hanging and watching and supporting what we do. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next episode. All right, man. Later.